So today I have something with me. I have a ruler. <laughs> I have a ruler. We're going to the classroom. <laughs> no worry, I'm not doing much of mathematics. <laughs> Just to make it a little practical. <laughs> when we start, you understand what it's about. So good evening and welcome to today's um, discussion on fibroids. We are still talking about fibroid because the goal is to get the word out there for many people to be enlightened so that they don't remain you know, in the dark about what they need to know about fibroid so that they can get their liberation because it begins if you want to get freedom from something you first of all need to know the right information right then when you have the right information you'll be able to take the right steps that will help you to get your liberation so that's the goal of this um, discussion that we're having so today we'll be talking about different sizes of fibroids so what we are using this ruler for <laughs> Yes, so this takes us back to mathematics, right? <laughs> but basically, we are going to be talking about different sizes of fibroids, okay? So that when you see the scan results, you'll be able to, even on your own, understand it, at least have an idea. You may not be, you may not have a medical background, yes, but you can still, you know, at least be able to gauge it and say, okay, this is a small size fibroid, this is a medium sized fibroid, this is a large fibroid, you know, and all that. So, that's the goal of today to enlighten you so that you know whether oh is this an emergency should I quickly go and have the surgery done or is it still small I can take my time and you know, do things that can help me shrink it and all that so that's the purpose okay so today we're talking about different sizes of fibroids basically there are three categories or three classes or three types okay so we have the small sized ones we have the medium sized ones and then we have the large sized fibroids okay now what constitutes small fibroid what is medium and what is large so we're going to be talking about all of that in detail the small sized fibroids generally are those that are from zero to five centimeters or 50 millimeters i'll be using more of centimeters it's mathematics you know 50, 50 millimeters is the same thing as 5 centimeters, so let's just go with the centimeters, right? So you can always work it out if your if your sonographer used the millimeters, you can just convert it, divide by 10. That will give you the centimeter value, right? Okay, so anything from 0. Point something to 5 centimeters, that is a small sized fibroid. And I think for most people, that's what they'll be seeing, but when it gets more advanced, then they begin to see the larger size it begins to grow to larger size but for most women especially if you are not even having symptoms it will be within that zero point something to five centimeters so let's see what's what's that like that's why i brought this right to make it very practical <laughs> okay so this is a 30 cm ruler so from here to here right see don't look at this side this is not part of it now can you see <laughs> you see so anything within this size, okay, anything within this size is a small sized fibroid, okay? Anything from here to here could be small like this, like this, up to this, you know, just within that size, from here to here, anything within that size range is a small sized fibroid, okay? And what can we use? So it can, you can say it ranges from a seed, like the size of a tiny seed to as big as say a cherry, a cherry fruit, okay? Or which other fruit can I use? Um, um, I think that's about the size of the small um, ube, that's the African pear, the one that you need to put in hot water before, before you can eat it, although you cannot just eat it with raw. So something within that size range is small. That's what we call small size fibroid. Then the medium size fibroid, now you can guess now, anything above five centimeters right so from five centimeters to anything that's above five centimeters to ten centimeters so here this is still the zero point and this is where ten and so you see the medium size fibroids will be something in that range something like this okay from here to here so something like that so it could it could be here which is above five six seven eight nine ten so once it's five point something centimeters 
to 10 centimeters that is a medium sized fibroid and i think that's what most of the women that i work with have some would have medium and small mixed together because most of the time it, by the time a woman begins to get um, symptomatic begins to have symptoms of fibroid she has more than one most of the time most of the time and you know the ultrasound scan does not actually pick all may not necessarily pick all of the fibroids it's um it's a laparoscopic um, examination that can pick it so if you go through this laparoscopy then they can see it, you know they can see the big picture better but with an ultrasound scan you just see you just see um some of them so most of the time fibroids don't come as a single group okay so that's the size of a medium size fibroid okay from five point something to ten centimeters that is a medium size fibroid uh so you can liken it to a small apple to like the size of an orange yes up to the size of an orange that is a medium size fibroid and when a woman has that she can actually begin to have heavy bleeding because of the size you know plus a whole lot of other things like thyroid issue and all of that will make her to have prolonged bleeding and heavy bleeding with the clots and all that so that's medium size now for the large size that is anything above 10 centimeters so it can range from this is the tape room from here to so once it is above this size it goes you know can be this big or even bigger i don't think any woman should leave fibroids to be this large in diameter in her body her tummy will be, make her look pregnant she look pregnant she feel uncomfortable the bleeding in fact that could even be life-threatening to threaten her womb so that can range from the size of a grape you know grape for people that want to lose weight grape that grape fruit, not the tiny grapes, but grape fruit. So that can range from the size of a grape fruit to a watermelon. I know there are different sizes of watermelon. Just think anything you can think of, you know, any size. The fibroids, black fibroids range from that size. Okay, from that size of like a grapefruit to watermelon. So what can you do if you have such large fibroid? So now if it's above 10 centimeters. If it's 12 centimeters, 15 centimeters, you can still go through natural method and shrink it. it. Might take a little longer than if it were maybe the smaller sizes, like small or medium. Okay, but then it can still be shrunk if you are very dedicated. You take all the necessary action, eliminate all the things you should eliminate, and you know introduce the things you need to introduce to help your body to shrink those sizes of fibroid. Okay. Okay, so for a woman who has fibroids that are above 15 centimeters, or maybe like 20 centimeters and above, I would advise for the woman to go for a surgery first. Because to take so long to shrink that, and then it could be impacting on the, the walls, you know, the walls of the womb. And if such woman wants to save her womb, it's better for her to just do a surgery. Let them remove it first then she can come do the holistic the natural method to clean up the system you know everything you know pull out the roots like you said you know when you do surgery surgery does not remove all the root causes it only removes the growth but the root is still in there so you want to still clean up the mess clean up all the the, the weeds right all those things that fill the growth of the fibroids in the first place we want to still address them so first of all you want to go for the surgery to just remove it and save your womb then you cannot come to your dietary adjustments um use the supplements and the other protocols other strategies that will help you to finally put an end to the fiber so you can say bye bye to the fibers forever so basically that's it those are the three categories of the sizes so we have the, the small the medium and the large so the goal is to um take away the fears and encourage you so that you know that you know it's not like a kind of death sentence it's not a sentence to keep you in pain or keep you feeling sad and depressed but rather for you to know what the next step is okay so you know whether you can just do it the natural way the holistic way or you might have to go the way of surgery 
first and then come yes. do the holistic way so that we can finally say bye bye to it, right? And get your life back and you know nothing disturbing your life, giving you <laughs> negative emotions and making you not enjoy your life, right? So that 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 basically is all that we'll be talking about today. Next week we'll be talking more about some strategies, some things you can do to begin to you know put some um, the fibroids in remission and um, shrink them and all that. So that will be next week. Do you have any questions? Go through the holistic way. Okay. Well, the holistic way means that when you say something is holistic, it means that it's like a kind of bed eye view. You are looking at all the factors because fibroid is multifactorial. It's not just one thing that made you to have fibroid. It's a combination of factors. Just like if you want to plant um, a seed for it to grow into a tree there are many things that that tree that seed needs for it to germinate and then grow and mature into a tree that begins to produce fruit so there are many factors that come into play that bring this to grow okay so um diet is a big part of it because that's the foundation of your health every cell of the body is made up of nutrients so diet is a big part of it which is why um, we always start with the hormone balancing meal plan for every woman you know, who is on the program because first of all you need to get your diet right so that sets the right foundation for the healing to begin to take place so diet is a big part of it then correcting the hormonal imbalances um, eliminating all the things that promote the growth of fibroids in the first place you know, and avoiding stress, keeping stress to a minimum and all of that you know, supplementing for what you're not getting in your diet and all that. So basically, that's what the holistic method is about. You want to clean up your system because toxicity in the system is one of the things that promotes, one of the key things that promotes um, diseases. You need to remember some things again. You need to watch it over again just to remind yourself for refresher. You can always watch it. So please, next week, it's going to be Wednesday, 4 p.m., right? Come with your questions, and um, we'll be talking about it. We'll be dissecting them all and we'll be chatting the way forward. All right, and don't forget if you need to talk more about it, you can free spot on my calendar. Check the link in my bio and you see it. All righty, we'll be talking more next week. Do take care of yourself and bye bye.